Just a quick word of God. A quick word of God. A quick word of God. Father, I thank you. I give you the glory. I give you the honor, the praise and adoration. We thank you, mighty God, for our mothers, for the women in our lives. We thank you, Father, that it is you who has begun a good work in their lives. And Father, we know that, Father, you have blessed them, your hand of power, your hand of deliverance, your hand of diligence forever upon them. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. What make you Why could you got the present in this interview? Only amen is that one. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, no, we are getting there. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm with you, Ali Rata. Liruna Ali Rata. Amen. Genesis one, verse one. We are going to teach with about Genesis 1, verse 1. We touched this word. We touched a little bit upon this word on Thursday. But I want us to just go a little bit deeper. And hear what God is saying. Amen. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. You're going to read it differently. We're going to put our own commas, full stop, brackets, abbreviation marks, everything. In the beginning, God. Stop there. In the beginning is what? I can't hear. In the beginning, God. Say neighbor. Everything starts with God. Am I talking to someone? In the beginning, God. If you want to see, you know, remember we said this month is a month of blessing. It's the month of financial increase and breakthroughs. Amen. It's not going to, I'm not saying only this month. We are activating this forever. I'm going to teach you how to start with God in everything. It's all about faith. But the first thing that you have to know, the Bible started this very well. In the beginning, God. Stop there. In the beginning, what? So how many beginnings did you have in your life? How many of them have been started by God? I have this idea, you know, I want to do this. No. The Bible that you carry, the word that conceived you, the mouth that created you, God. Until the church or the children of God start stops with ideas and start with God. We're gonna live the lives that God created us to live. When God, the Bible says, in the beginning, God. God is saying, let me, allow me to be your foundation. Because when God is the foundation, nothing, nothing can shake you. Nothing can move you. Nothing can uproot you. They will plan but not prevail against you. And when we say in the beginning God, it is not only God. Let's go to number two. 
Number two, God created. In the beginning, God, that's number one. Number two, God created. Whenever you see God created, see Jesus Christ. See the Holy Spirit. Because God created with what? With the word. Any foundation, a shokam rena jesu, as if foundation. You are playing games. I have learned in my life to put God in everything. To put God first in everything. Since then, I don't know the meaning of the word lack. I don't know the meaning of the word broke. Stress, I can spell it, but I can't feel it. <laughs> you didn't hear me. Stress, I can spell it, but I can't feel it. Who is the foundation of your life? You know, until the church go, goes back to the basics. We are rushing for these big revelations. You know, there is this Greek word. You combine it with the Aramic word and the Hebrew word and it will look form. No, in the beginning, God. Let, 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 let us start there. Why? The time that you are worried about No. If God is in the beginning, He is outside time. He is in control of time. Can you go to Revelation 13, verse 8? Quickly, we'll, we'll come back to this one. How many of you want to live a prosperous life? No, can I tell you? It is normal for a child of God to dream of yourself living in a 13 million house. As you know, it's normal. It is normal for you to be driven in a Rolls Royce. The reason why many children of God have a poverty mentality is because in the beginning it's not God. And all that dwell on earth shall worship him. Everyone whose name has not been written from the foundation of the world in the book of the life of Lamb that has been slain. It's not, it's, I don't like this, this version. New King James said the, the, the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. I want to put it to you that Jesus Christ was crucified before the world was. So in the beginning, the blood... <laughs> You cannot talk about God and, and leave the blood out. You cannot, leave, you cannot talk about God and leave Jesus Christ out. You cannot talk about God and leave the Holy Spirit out. Why? I want to put it this way. The blood, the blood of Jesus Christ gives you life in the beginning. The Holy Spirit gives you direction. His word gives you counsel and power. So anything that you start outside God, you are asking for one thing, toiling. Hallelujah. Many came here. But this church looks like it's more than 20 years old. In the beginning, God. In the beginning of your day, in the beginning of your sleep, in the beginning of your journey, in the beginning of your work in your workplace, 
in the beginning of whatever that you do. In the beginning of your studies. How it's in a classing. Maramuruti. Do you, do you just want to stand here and teach us about Genesis 1? Mm. Genesis 1, chapter 1. Let's go back to it. Number two, God created. In the beginning, God. Number two is what? God created. No, we shared this word on, on Friday. Yeah, I remember. God created. Not so long ago, some few minutes ago, we spoke about the wombed men and the creative power that they have. Any person who is living here on earth, God has trusted you with his creative abilities. He said, let us make men according to our image, according to our likeness. When God created, what, what, what is it? God created. God could not create outside Jesus Christ. Because he had to speak the word. <laughs> and who is the word? Jesus. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Nothing that was made was made outside of what? Of the word. And who is hovering upon? The Holy Spirit. I want to put it to you. There are people who are suffering in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Can I prove it to you? Let us go to Genesis 1, verse 2. We're not going to go far. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. <laughs> no order. No form. A formless life. An orderless life. Directionless life. But, we say, but the Spirit of God was hovering. What? What, 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 what? what is the Spirit of God waiting for? The Spirit of God is waiting for an established relationship with the Word from you. Do we have a relationship with the Word? Do we have an established relationship with the Word? If we have an established relationship with the word, we shall see them by what? By their fruits. There is no way that you can have an established relationship with the word and fail to create. God created. Hallelujah. What type of life do you want to live? We can say this thing. The life that you want to live. What type of life is that? We are in the time, people said we are in the times of COVID. No. COVID does not have time. COVID will never have time. COVID did not create time. COVID will never create times. In the beginning, God. And is still God. It's still what? God. And God what? Created. Through what? Through the word. So what do we do in times like this? We create. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree an environment of health and healing around my children around my family. I'm declaring and decreeing that none of us will get sick. We shall live. We shall not die. We shall declare the, word, the works of the Lord in the land of the living. God created. God refused to acknowledge chaos. I, I want to say, you know, many of us, we acknowledge chaos more than God. 
As it is right now, people are busy reading the statistics. You know they are going up. No, they are going sideways. They are going down. Hey, I'm telling you, there is somebody who has been up forever. That's God. In the beginning, there has been what? God. These things will come. They will go. But our God remains. Hallelujah. I want to, I, I want to encourage you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We are going towards winter. Many people call it the flu season. I want you to know that even in the beginning of the flu season, God. Am I talking to someone? There is what? God, take Holy Communion daily, if you can. Declare Psalm 91 daily. In the beginning, it will be what? God. Because the more you declare something as well, God created. God will never deny his word. He is going to create a permanent protective environment around you. A thousand shall fall at your sides. Ten thousand at your right hand. But it shall not come near you. Hallelujah. Can you go to number three? In closing, the heavens. The heavens. On the day of Pentecost, they were together, one place, in agreement. And the Holy Spirit came down upon them they begin to speak in other tongues. They were empowered. When heaven released its presence unto the earth through the power of the Holy Spirit. If you want to know what is happening in the heavens, relate with the Holy Spirit. It, it is not a coincidence that these three things are in the first verse of the Bible. They are speaking about Jesus, God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. The heavens. The Bible says God created what? The heavens. Not heaven, but the heavens. Heavens and earth. Not earth. Not, no, one world. Why? There is a heaven where you belong. Where everything about you is set. That's why Jesus Christ, when he told his disciples, he said, When you pray, say, let, you, let your will be done. Can you go to Matthew 6, verse 9? You are so powerful, so anointed. We're just failing in one aspect. In the beginning, God, but we'll get it. We're getting right. Matthew 6, verse 9. In this manner, therefore, pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Not our Father in heavens. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not our Father in heavens. Our Father in heaven. Before you were born, you were with him. You are wired for success. No, I, I want you to listen. Say, I'm wired for success as it is in heaven. Not heavens, no? So God who dwell in his heaven wants your life to be the way he has ordained it in heaven. But it can only happen if in the beginning is God. Are we together?
the fellowship with the Holy Spirit will release unto you the heavenly mysteries. The mysteries about your life. We cannot depend on the mysteries of the kingdom of darkness concerning us. The revelations of the kingdom of darkness concerning you are to hurt you. They are to subdue you. They are to make you sick. They are to make you lack. But the mysteries that are in heavens has no ability to acknowledge the chaos. That is the reason why the first three verses of the Bible, God never acknowledged the chaos. Even though it's written that the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the waters, God focused, overlooked everything else. He went straight to the Holy Spirit. He said, Holy Spirit, I'm about to say a word. I'm about to say something upon this chaos. I don't want to acknowledge what is happening there. I'm about to say that because I am God, I'm carrying something. There is something that I'm about to release in this situation. In the beginning, God. And he said, let there be. Creation started. And there was. One day you need to stop. Stop. Take a step back. Ignore the chaos in your life. Focus unto Jesus. The author and the finish of your faith. And begin to declare his word. Even though it looks like it's chaotic, Anantir Lukang, Linsula Hai, Little Lukis. In the beginning, God. Let me tell you if the writer was somebody who did not know God. Let us go back to Genesis 1. If the writer was somebody who did not know God, the way we see things, they're going to start by saying, verse 1 will be, verse, verse 2, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. It will stop there. And they will be right. Because that's how the earth was. They will be right. They can write it like this. That the earth was without form and void. Let me tell you. Long, long ago. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was hovering upon the face of the waters. And stopped there. I'm right. But we. Who are in God. Even if we see. That our lives can, are not reflecting the form and the character of God. We go back in the beginning, God. So, darkness and everything are between God and the Holy Spirit. Oh. You are not in the midst of darkness. You are not in the midst of chaos. The chaos and darkness are between God and the Holy Spirit. And only the word can recreate, can overlook and create. Who are you? Ask your neighbor, say, Who are you? Say, Don't start. With darkness, with chaos. Say in the beginning, God. Teach your mind to think like that. And when you see darkness and chaos, Holy Spirit, what do I do? And you say, Father, speak a word. I'm ready. 
You know, there are situations here, this one picking up, that God is waiting for someone to position themselves where he is, the beginning. Because you think you are in the midst of issues. No. You are not in the midst of chaos. Be where God is in the beginning. Get out. Am I talking to someone? Get out of chaos. God was never in chaos. He did not refuse to acknowledge them. He just didn't entertain them. <laughs> you are not in the midst. Get out. When you go in the go back in the beginning, God will connect you with the power. And you'll you'll start to begin. Then God said, <laughs> Where is he now? For in him I live. In him I move. In him I have my being. Then God said, Say it what to my situation. Let there be. Who put you there in the midst? For starters, my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, let your will be done in my life here on earth as it is in heaven. Do you know why not in heaven? Because there are some heavens that are meant only for chaos. We don't acknowledge them. We don't feed from chaos. We feed from God in heaven, not in heavens. Hallelujah. Say, I'm more than a conqueror. Say, say I'm more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. I am not in the midst of void, darkness, disorder that is in the face of my life. Say, I refuse. In the beginning, my God. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop here. I don't want to give you more than this. This is your nugget for today. Don't walk. Stop your relationship with crisis. Some of you specialize. No, no, no don't be a crisis manager. In the beginning, God, God refused to manage the crisis on earth. He just released the word and things begin to happen. And that same God, he has never changed. He is still with you. He said, if you obey me and keep my word, I and my father will come and abide in you and make our home in you. Why? Because he wants to be what? first. In the beginning, God. Hallelujah. It's easy to think that God is first in our lives. It's easy to believe that God is first in our lives. 
It's easy to think that and believe that. But if we look at our lives, our lives are reflecting the real truth of our spiritual position and the real truth of where we've put God. Hamudim asatlipil. We'll be able to see it. Can we get out? Can we stand up? I want you to, I want you to, stay, to take a step of faith, of faith. Can you stand up? Move away from your chest. Get somewhere where you can be free. Get somewhere where you can be free. Move away from your chest. You see, we are blessed with carpets in the church. Stand in one block of a carpet. Stand in one block of a carpet. Stand in one block of a carpet. Are you there? I want to, to put this to you. Romans 12, 2. Is renew your mind. If your mind is not renewed by the weight, God won't be in the beginning. Amen? So I want you to, start to take a step of faith. You are in the block. This block is reflecting the earth that is without form and void and darkness is hovering upon it, upon the face of the deep. I want you to make a decision that I'm getting out. I'm going where the Spirit of God is. The Bible said the Spirit of the Lord was hovering upon the face of the waters and God said, what was the Spirit of God waiting for? For the wait. Hallelujah. God said, I shall put my spirit within them. They shall be my people. And I will be their God. Hallelujah. So you're going to take a step of faith. Or I'm stepping out of chaos. I'm stepping out of chaos. I'm not a product of chaos. I'm a product of a spoken word of God. Hallelujah. Do you believe what is about to happen? Something's about to happen in this place. I want you to step out by faith. Step out. Get out. Get out. You are out. Look back. You are not going back there anymore. You are not going back there anymore. You are not going back there anymore. From today onwards, in the beginning, is God. Am I talking to someone? So, how do you move forward from here? Verse 3. Verse 3, Randy. How do you move forward from here? By the word of God. And God said, <laughs> I'm free. Then God said, I'm healed. Then God said, I'm employed. Then God said, I'm prospering. Then God said, I'm increasing. Then God said, so it is all about the word of God. Nothing but the word of God. Nothing but the word of God. Let us go back to the basics. Let us go back to the word. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, I'm paraphrasing it, and obey my word. How do we cry and pray in the midst of chaos that God overlooked? Are 
And God said, Hallelujah. We are still going to respond. The Bible said, and darkness was on the face of the deep. There, is, there are two things that God overlooked. The Bible said the earth was without form. God has said, okay, it's fine. I know it will give form. The earth was void, still, empty. And God said, no, I know what, to, what, what will give form. Let there be light. Let there be light. And who is the light? Jesus Christ. Can you go to John? Don't move. Don't move. Just wait there. Let us continue with our prophetic moves. I, 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 I want us to deal with this once and for all. Before I can start teaching about faith, because it is not important. No, it is not beneficial for me to teach you about faith in the midst of chaos. I must first get you out. Hallelujah. John chapter 1. John chapter 1. Verse, verse 6 and 7. But I'm going to read. Okay, I'm going to read all of it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear a witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gave light to every man coming into the world. <laughs> I want to, that light that gave light to every man coming to the world. We'll go back to that one. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave them the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of the blood, nor of the will of man, but, but, the, but not the will of man, but of God. You are in the light. The exact process that God used to create the world is the exact process that brought forth your salvation. The light. Jesus is called the light. And he's the light of your life. Lift up your hands. In closing, lift up your hands. Say, say Lord Jesus, let your light shine in every area of my life. Say your light is life. And your life is light. Let that light shine. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Talk to him. 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 Pray. Talk to him. Talk to him. Say, God, you are my beginning. Your word come first in my life. 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 I refuse to acknowledge any chaotic nature of my life. You are God. You are above all powers and principalities. Your word shall always come first in my life. Your word come first in my life. Your word come first in my life. Your word come first in my life. In the beginning, God. 